when children born is born, they have their birth nature. That birth nature is more their genes and DNA related, you know, birth nature. And then children has a child has a home nurture. That home nurture has a different variables as well. And their parents, they could be born to both parents' home or a single parent's home or a working mom's home or, you know, just stay home mom's home. So all just a different diverse home nurture they could have. So let's say their potential possibilities in nature and home nurture before coming to school education, school education. So when children are born with a strong birth nature, they could grow strong in home nurture and then they are more assured strong learners at school. Some children are born with a very strong nature. However, they may grow in weak home nurture then they have a kind of in a may, maybe not okay learners uh, in school education later on. And children may be born with not that quite strong nature. So this strong nature means it's, we call it about the cognitive development in a cognitive part. And they grow strong, even though their DNA and genes are not that strong. However, their home nurture could be strong and they grow strong and then they could be in a nature nurture combination and weak and strong and could be okay learners if they go turned out very well. And then especially, you know, this home nurture, you know, school nurture factors. So, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. And then child is born very weak with a weak nature, weak born, you know, nature. And then their home is also weak nurture environment. So they grow weak. Then there are there is a great potential to be a weak learner. So they can be weak learners. So we could say it's, it's all about the probability and you know potential possibilities. So, so again, child is born with a strong gene and then their home nurture is strong and then they have a great possibility to be a strong learner. Babies are born with a strong nature, DNA, cognitive ability. However, home nurture is not that great. So they grow weak. And then they could be just so and so. There are great possibilities. They may be, maybe not a good learner, good, you know. And then babies born with a weak nature. However, their home nurture is strong. So they could have grow strong. And then their, you know, learner possibilities is based on their, you know, nature, you know, cognitive part. And then in babies born weak and then grow weak, and then their great possibility they would be a you know weak learner. So, so these four different categories of children come with their birth nature and then you know home nurture. So first group of children, they are strong, strong nature nurture, and then they are assured the strong learners. So they don't have that much effect by teacher efficacy, teacher quality, and good teacher because uh, they already have a very good genes uh, and then home nurture is ready to assist the uh, children's education. So if the children does not do not do well, and then parents probably back up and then find some ways. And these uh, medium level groups, so uh, like a uh, strong and weak nurture, and then weak nature and strong nurture, they are very just like a uh, very, you know, nobody knows uh, about their potential learners. But if they meet uh, good, smart uh, teachers, capable teachers, uh, and then they will be turned out to be a good learners, uh, solid learners. Uh, 
we are not say they are just a top students. However, they're gonna pass each grade level with master the grade level standards and scope and sequence. And then last, you know, group of students with a weak nature and a weak nurture, and then they have a great potential, right, to be a weak learners. And they need a very super capable teachers. And especially they probably have a high possibility. They may start with early childhood intervention programs and they come to schools and maybe come to special education. And then those special education teachers and super capable special education teachers could save them. However, you know, if they don't meet the good teachers and then pretty much, you know, they're gonna stay in special education until their last day of K-12 schooling. So we have a three different parts, starting with the nature. First nature is very weak or strong. And then home nurture is weak and strong. And then second nurture is school education. And teachers are strong teacher and smart teacher or not that great, you know, smartness and capable teachers. And then it, their, you know, possibilities could be different. However, the problem is we only have one group which assured the strong learners. All other three groups, are kind of you know risky and fragile. They have a fragile possibility in learning, so they really need uh, good teachers, uh, or they will earn high instance of disabilities. Uh, those two you know groups, uh, like uh, you know weak, strong nature nurture combinations. Those students could uh, have a high instance of disabilities. Those last group, you know weak nature, weak nurture. These children may already have some, you know, disability issues. However, if their weakness is not that deficiency disability levels, uh, and they could start schooling, you know, like as a typical children. However, their kindergarten and first grade teachers could not save them, and then pretty much they will come to special education. So it's really sad, but this is, you know, children's nature nurture theory I put out, you know, as a potential learners, you know, who comes to school for school education and their school education is a pretty much a last, you know, opportunity to save them as a, you know, solid learners or, you know, they could just be just weak learners.